I'm sorry. Now it's time for a basic practice question. Basic practice question of SBR. What is the objective of this pra basic practice question? What is the objective? Assuming that right now you have a mindset about the FR or F7. And now you are starting your preparation of SBR. So with this example, I am transforming your mind from SBR to, uh, sorry, from S FR to SBR. I am transforming your mind from FR to SBR. Transforming your mind from FR to SBR. Now let's start. This is a question. This is a question. On 31st December X1, entity noticed that one of its item of plant and machinery is often left idle. Often left idle. So once you read often left idle, that means impairment indication. Okay. So it's if it's about impairment indication, now it's time for impairment test and for impairment testing we need to identify or determine the values on this date the asset had a carrying amount of 500,000 and a fair value of 325,000 estimated cost required to dispose of the asset 25,000 and if the asset is not sold entity estimate that it would generate cash inflows of total 347,000 present value terms by next two years. So that means the complete information of impairment is available, carrying amount, compared with the recoverable amount, recoverable amount, which is higher of fair value less cost to sell. Fair value is 325, cost to sell is 25. That means 300,000 is a fair value less cost to sell. And the value in the use 347,000. So we have to take higher figure that is 347,000 and compare with this carrying amount. So there is an, so this is what about the impairment loss. So we have to identify the impairment loss with mathematics and then record and report in the financial statement. Number next requirement, the requirement same as F7 here. Number one, accounting treatment, simple accounting treatment of the above above transaction in the financial statement for the year end 31st December X1. Number two requirement, how would the answer to part A be different if there was a balance of 10,000 in OCE relating to prior revaluation of a specific asset? First two requirements is exactly about F7, making of extract. But here, Discuss the accounting treatment of the above financial statement for year end 31st December X1. This discuss means something, some caliber, something about the caliber of SBR. So, number one, FR. Part A. Impairment 31st December X1. Carrying amount 500,000 compare with recoverable amount, which is higher of fair value less cost to sell or value in use. So higher or is 347,000 compared with carrying amount. So here we have identified the impairment loss of 153,000. Ignoring part B, no revaluation. The impairment loss will be charged to income statement and carrying amount 153,000. Extract of the income statement impairment loss charge 153,000 and SFE the balance sheet 500,000 minus 153,000, 347,000. This is what you have done in the F7. Okay, sir. How would the answer to part A different if there was a balance of 10,000 in OCE to the prior revaluation? What will be the answer? Impairment loss is 153,000, no change. But 
चार्ज टू रीवैल्यूएशन रिजर्व नॉन करंट एसेट क्रेडिट वन फिफ्टी थ्री थाउजेंड एंड द बैलेंस अमाउंट टू द इंपेयरमेंट लॉस सो एक्सट्रेक्ट ऑफ द इनकम स्टेटमेंट ऑफ इंपेयरमेंट लॉस वन फोर्टी थ्री एंड स्टेटमेंट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन नॉन करंट एसेट दैट इज थ्री फोर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड रीवैल्यूएशन रिड्यूस बाय टेन थाउजेंड दिस इज एफ सेवन and this is i must say here this is fr f7 standard also but sir discuss the accounting treatment accounting treatment of the above financial statement for the year end 31st december x1 this is sbr so how to draw answer how to write answer if you are student of If you are student of SBR, number one, IS thirty six impairment of an asset says that any as any non current asset must not be reported more than the value of its recoverable amount. This is knowledge. First of all, you have to incorporate knowledge. Number two, in case of impairment indication, impairment indication. Here the case about idle machine. If you mention the case about idle machine, this is application. The entity need to make impairment test by comparing carrying amount of asset with recoverable amount. That is higher of fair value less cost to sale or value in use. And recoverable amount is the higher of fair value less cost to sale three hundred thousand. That is three twenty five minus twenty five and value in use three forty seven thousand. Ignore working. Impairment loss charge to P N L three forty seven thousand. Whatever we have written after application, asset must be written down by one fifty three. Whatever we have written or we will write after application, that is called working explanation. So knowledge, application, working explanation. Sir, is it is it necessary to write the knowledge exactly with the standard wording? No, use your own wordings. Like this, I thirty six says that any non current asset must not be reported more than the value of its recoverable amount. That's all. Okay. Now part B, impairment loss ten thousand would be adjusted or recognized OCI and remaining one forty three thousand charged to income state. so this is what about sbr standard so transform your mind transform your mind our ex examiner expectation is to communicate like this person but communicate with drafting this is fr standard answer this is sbr standard answer and that's i hope that your mind has transformed from f7 to sbr once again welcome to sbr